Gittins. Gittins flicks it inside. I think he scored in the uh, previous game as well, if my memory serves. Gittins. Ball's broken now for Ainge, who's placed it into space for Sarvi Saunders. And the number two just pushes him down to the ground. Fortunately for Leamington, there was a spare man. That was uh, not great defending there from, uh, from Junior English. Pace of Saunders being used there. It's breathtaking to see. We're actually seeing them using Harvey in the way that we the way that he can work best ball in front of him with space to run into fabulous to see now I've got a chance for a, for a free kick it's I think this is a guy you can run step if you play the right way here we go six minute here we go chips it in oh and that's a good one from Joe Wheatley I'm so calm at the back it's the man who's confident in his ability and the ball comes back to him it's everything in front of him it's, it's an ideal combination but the ball's been put forward, but Ainge just not quite getting into the game at this moment. As we're in the 11th minute. Oh, and uh, the goalkeeper's come out, better look to the halfway line to take it. He's pumped it long, it's into the Dalek box. Madison's completely missed it. And well played there by Galbraith. Madison came all rushing out. A rush of blood there. I'm not entirely sure he needs to be anywhere near it, but he did. And he didn't get anywhere near it. But it's cleared out for a corner. In the 12th minute here and now he sprayed it back to Hughes Hughes now is just crossing the halfway line sprays the ball finds Steich good bit of control there just pulls it to his chest and finds Henshaw now he finds uh, in turn finds Elliot and then sprays the ball to the right to Wheatley and Trotman in turn Trotman's now going to come in field nobody's closing him he's making a good run and he's found Tr Tr Harvey Saunders and he shoots and he comes in and it's another shot and it's a goal! What a goal from Simon Ainge there. A great team goal. Lovely composure, moving the ball around from left to right. And then Trotman saw there was a gap in the midfield and moved, run in there and then play outside of his foot. Played uh, Harvey Saunders down the channel. Harvey Saunders takes the shot. Not even the strongest shot in the world, but the keeper parried it. Came out to Ainge and Ainge made no mistake. Suddenly coming to life after that goal. Working well there with Thompson. And now the ball sprayed to Wheatley. Finds uh, out to, to Galbraith. And it's over to Henshaw. Darling keeping the ball and not looking tentative. It's not the hot potato that they once saw it as. Nicholson linking the ball up to Ainge. Ainge letting go on the edge of the box. Oh! And he just moved the ball quickly from right to left there and then put the shot in. The keeper was left sprawling, going, <laughs> didn't know which way to go. And the ball pumped forward from Leamington. Now it's down to the right-hand side. Darlow needs to be careful. Ball comes across and it's going to be a shot for the number 10. He's free, but he's only hit the defence. Good battling there by uh, Joe Wheatley on the line to get it clear, I think. And now the ball's broken for Thompson, who pumps it up to five lines to Harvey Saunders. Harvey, that's a lovely turn from Harvey. Lovely way of bringing the ball down, sorry. But just good defending, but then Harvey's got that much pace. He's starting to move the ball around nicely. And Hughes trying to find Wheatley. Let's make, make the ball do the work, as they say. Now it's for Nicholson. Nicholson plays it now for Thompson. And Thompson finds Nicholson. He's going to have a shot from the edge of the box. He shoots! Oh, and the keeper dives to his left and gets a, gets a hand to it and puts it wide. That must have been eight, nine, ten passes there. Darling, at the minute, as we are in our 27th minute. Anybody joining us late? It is Leamington nil, Darling, one. And Leamington on the attack, putting the ball into the box, and it finds Dwyer, and he had a free header there. Came to him, he's just near the penalty box. He does find a black and white shirt. So it's a throw in, which Leamington take. Gittins plays it back to the thrower. And played up to the striker, Dwyer. Dwyer's just control again, lets him down. And that means Wheatley finds Thompson. And Thompson opens those legs up again. And he plays a lovely ball for Nicholson. He's almost through. And he's going to break behind his orders. And it's goal number two for Darlington. Fabulous play, and it's the man on fire. Harvey Saunders has scored again. That's a lovely ball. A great through ball there from Thompson. Thompson letting rip with the speed. 
and then played a great ball for Nicholson and he could run onto it then Nicholson plays the ball through and it breaks for Saunders Saunders puts it between the keeper's legs and that's Darlington Leamington nil Darlington 2 and the fans a chance to start attacking us but the, the defence doing their job and a combination of three black and white shirts round Dwyer and there's a late challenge there by Dwyer he was looking unhappy before about a tackle and he's left his mark on I'm assuming that's uh, Galbraith is it Joe Wheatley and the referee has to contend with uh, several players around him no, it's not Joe Wheatley and it's a red card he's got a straight red card there It was a late challenge. And Ainge is uh, there as a focal point. And they're spraying the ball out to the right-hand side to Trotman. That's good, making the ball work. Make Leamington do some running. Wheatley plays the ball into the box. It finds finds Nicholson. Oh, it's just on the wrong side. It's with Thompson. He lets rip from the outside of the box. But he gets a deflection. Be precise in the ball, which is not the worst thing in the world, as long as they're not overloading it. And now the ball's over to the right-hand side. Now it's Trotman. Trotman lovely. Skips past uh, one tackle. And he's got himself to the edge of the box. And he sprays it out to Nicholson. He whips a good cross in. He finds Saunders. Oh, and Saunders gets ahead on it. And the keeper just uh, manages to scram scramble to the ground to push it out. But that was a good chance for Saunders. And to be fair, he made the contact. And he got it on target. Up to Galbraith on the halfway line. And in turn finds... Liam Hughes, Liam Hughes pumps it down the right-hand side looking for Thompson and that's a lovely ball, can he keep it in? Tom Will does keep it in, he's on the corner spot, puts it between the legs of the defender and he's won a free kick or is it a corner? Looks like it's a free kick, it looks like it is a free kick. So it looks like a Henshaw is going to take it, so it's on the far side, so his left foot's going to make it, going to whip it in, in swinger into the box Bud lights are now on or warming up should I say let's see what happens here and she'll put it in it's high it's going to go to the far post it looks like it's going to try to reach change in size but it comes to the edge of the box it finds Wheatley Wheatley takes his time to hit it on the half volley but it's just taking a sweet time the throwing's taken it's not going to get far and Thompson's didn't deal with the throw in and he's just given a handball and that's a penalty for Leamington. Is this going to be a chance? We know Johnny Madison's abilities on the penalty spot. Come on, Johnny. Here it comes. And he blasts it. Keeper Johnny Madison dives to his right. But a great shot. Great penalty. Puts it in the top right-hand corner. And that puts them back in the game here now. Bishop scores. On the then just a chance to compose the ball and move it from left to right if they think it's necessary. Galbraith just coming over the halfway line. And Charles offering him something on the left side. He's got two men on him. Got to be careful. And Terry Galbraith just put himself under pressure. And a shot there by 15. And Terry. Here we go. Goal kicks taken. Galbraith wins the head, but again it's high, there's no direction on it, so it gets back to Leamington and it finds uh, Bishop again, there's a big burly striker who's come on, and it's over to the right hand side, and it's their number seven who's been whipping the crosses in from the right side, Dunbar, and it's got it cannoned off our arm, number seven, Alex Henshaw, and it's took another corner. Dunbar keep concentrating, corner comes in, and it's gone all the way across the six yard line, it shoots! And it's an equaliser for Jack Edwards. You could feel it was coming. And Dallow have just committed suicide on the, have given away two goals, two soft goals. A penalty that was not needed whatsoever. And the ball's just come corner from a corner. It's gone into the six yard box. The Darlington defence ha hasn't dealt with it. And it just sat there for Jack Edwards just to poke it on inside the six yard box. Terry Galbraith in his left back role. 
he sprays it to Wheatley, then moves it to Sayers. Darling with it left to right, now it's with Trotman. Trotman plays it out to Thompson. And Thompson get that cross in, it's a good cross. It's over the top, keeper just gets edge on it. Comes out to Terry Galbraith, who pumps it in. He cuts cleared off the line. And can they, can they get it cleared? They do, they pump it long. And it just need Hughes and... Yep, yeah, dealt with that nicely. Where's the foul? And now the ball's broken again. It's ball pumped up forward. This, it's Bishop again, but it's cut out by by Liam Hughes, and he's coming forwards. He finds a great ball for Thompson. Thompson, if he sees, he's got Nicholson free on the left hand side, and he finds him. Nicholson's on the edge of the box. If he plays it the right way, he's going to turn. He shoots. Oh, and it just loops over. The, that's a that's a, looked like a handball by the centre half from Leamington, but played on. And he played the ball down the right hand side. Has he managed to keep it in? He has. No, oh, Sire's not solid enough in the challenge there, and that, that gives their number seven Dunbar a chance. And now it's into the penalty box, and a great one-on-one -on -one save there by De Madison fr from Dun from Gittins. Darlington living dangerously now, and the ball's just gone out for a throw-in. Way forward, and trying to keep his balance, but he just manages to do it, and it finds Byrne and then Trotman. Now it's back with Byrne. Byrne sprays it right to left. Well, it's the edge of the box now it's with Ainge Ainge using all of his strength to hold the ball up and he's creating the space and he puts it in he's looking for a, he's looking for a push and the fans are well there's no fans behind it there's no there's next to one man and his dog behind the goal trying to claim with him but referee not having any of it almost in slow motion it just kind of rolls the centre off <laughs> Leamington are too old they could have got they went for it, they could have created something. Ball pumped up, finds, look for Harvey, it's dropped for, ooh, almost dropped for Ainge on the edge of the box. It's, it's caught and it's by Gittings. And it's a throw in for, and it's a final whistle there for Leamington. A point for Leamington there. Definitely two points lost by Darlington there. From two, from two minnel up at half time, ten men. It's uh, a disappointing end to the game for Darlington.